Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the live stream. I'm still not feeling 100%, but uh, managed to get together a few of these to do tonight, and hopefully I'll get back to producing the regular content soon. I also had the idea of making these as a way of um, tracking vocabulary. So for people that might want to be learning English and have a pretty, well, uh, about 3,000 word vocabulary, I'll see if I could make a list of uh, words that... Uh, would be useful in those circumstances and then I can have a video series of this going through that way you get pronunciation and um, using them in a sentence uh, it's a bit quicker than doing some of the other videos that I've been doing there so I'll start working my way through but if um, you see anything then jump in and if you've got any other questions I'll see what I can do to help out with that as well so uh, without further ado let's um, go through it so we've got clean shaven there, someone who doesn't have a beard. There's no hair or stubble on their face at all. Uh, diverse. It's a, uh, things aren't the same. They're very, they're different. A diverse group of people. Uh, people from different, um, you could say age groups, genders, ethnicities. Uh, they, they're not the same group of people, if that makes sense. Um, they're not, say, uh, males or females between 18 to 20 of um, Italian descent. So, um, no, looks like genetic is not going to be one of the words. But a diverse, there's a lot of different things in there. Diverse, um, yeah. Uh, embarrassment. Someone might be embarrassed to, to have filled up the car with diesel instead of petrol and they have to stop and... Um, Siphon has to be siphoned out before otherwise it could damage the engine. Then there's fast forward. Um, the same more common with the cassette tapes and VHS where it was displayed linearly where, say with DVDs and CDs, you could skip quickly to the next song or the next chapter directly. directly. Comprehension. Um... So it describes someone's ability to recognize a large number of words and so forth. Someone in the last year of high school have much greater comprehension than someone in the second year of primary school. Uh, collate. So once you have some items printed out together, you might want to group them into bits that can be handed out easily to other people. So if you had a hundred page document and you wanted to print it off five times if you just print it it might print each of page one five times and then page two five times page three five times and then go through but if you collate it it'll print page one page two page three and once it gets all the way to a page 100 it'll then print page one the second time and then go through get to page 100 again and that way it's already sorted for you where you can just split them into uh, five piles easily and say staple them together or put them into a folder Uh, laser printer. It's a, another different technology compared to an inkjet. I'm not sure if they can do color, but um, they can monochrome, certainly. And I think they've got a lower cost per paper than inkjets as well. Uh, scholastic. Not too sure of the definition of that one. I think it's to do with academic and um, I won't. Musket is a early type of firearm. It would be one that um, it has a barrel with flint usually on the back of it and you'd push down powder, then um, filling and then the metal ball. It's um, very uh, yeah, before so ammunition and bullets as we currently know them. Uh, tracked, so to draw and bring something closer, you might have a special to attract more customers and put some items at half, half price. Uh, roadside, 
So you might have a pedestrian crossing there or you might have a safe space to stop cars there. But it's not on the road and might be an area to park. Uh, 60th. You'll be the 60th person to cross the first 60 people. Uh, might win a prize or move on to the next state championships from the regional areas or it could also be someone celebrating their 60th birthday. An approximation, it's um, you're not measuring things there explicitly. It's um, a rough example. It's you know, you're not, it could be close to being right or but it's um, an approximation. So you might only calculate something to one decimal place rather than um, you know, if you're going precise, you might do it five. A uh, clergywoman, that's someone who is in a church and uh, like a lady, something similar to a bishop. Skeptically, that's someone who doesn't quite believe. So someone might walk up to me saying they've already purchased tickets, but they've just dropped them. And I might look at them skeptically thinking they're trying to pull a fast one and telling some lies. Uh, visual, so to do with the eyes. And emigration is moving people that are moving out of a country. Immigration is people moving into a country and emigration is they're moving out. Uh, gopher was a type of animal. I've also heard of people with the job description so you have a gopher where they're effectively an assistant. Yeah, you know, they might go for coffee, which you know, and go for anything else that's uh, mentioned. Uh, bearable. It's something that might cause a little bit of discomfort, but it's um, okay. You know, you're living with it. Uh, substandard. It um, is not to expectations. Um, you might go to a, a chain pizza store and uh, order a pepperoni pizza and if you find out there's only five like slices of pepperoni on there and it largely looks like a cheese pizza, it could be considered substandard. Uh, genetic engineering. So you might um, do that to... It's not... There's, I guess, two types of genetic engineering. The first one, where is you're directly manipulating the genes. And the second type is that you might be um, growing uh, plants and crops and making sure that whatever are, it meets the needs that you're after is um, it gets to the uh, plants in the next crop. So you might have a bit of a drought area and some of the um, seeds of the grain crop or something has died off and a few of them survive and you make sure to replant the ones that have survived and they could be a bit more um, resistant to drought. Uh, readership. People that might subscribe to a newsletter. Audience. Uh, people that might watch a television show or be in a theatre. Uh, parental. Parental um, permission might be required for children to go to excursions. Uh, June. So there might be a sand dune, is what it would commonly be referred to as, and that's effectively um, just a hill made out of sand. A uh, therapist, someone you might go to and see if you've got issues. You might have a, a fear of some items and go see a therapist to try and uh, get over your fear. Smooch is another name for kissing. Flexible. It um, is you might be traveling and buy a flexible fare, which means that it might be able to change it and um, might cost a bit more to purchase the fare in the first place. But if you end up having to change it, it's going to cost less than if you just bought the cheapest fare to begin with. Uh, makeup. So cosmetics. So lipstick, eyeshadow. Uh, eyeliner was another word that appears here as well. So raspberry, 
and corkscrew. Discontinuation. And there might be a popular line that stopped or it might be an unpopular line. If people aren't buying it, then the factory might stop making the particular flavor of chips or similar. Uh, substantiate. The police might accuse me of a crime and I might say, well, hang on a second, um, I was, it couldn't have been me, I wasn't in the city and they might ask me to substantiate and that way I could then get receipts of uh, where I was staying or similar and uh, have some sort of proof to back up my claims. Uh, y'all. It's a short form version of you all. You might be addressing a group of people. And it's more, I think, a Southern American style thing. I certainly haven't heard it too much in Australia. Uh, convoluted. So I might, yeah, sorry if I'm doing this here, but someone might give an explanation that doesn't appear simple and then might go through five or six, six steps, where someone else might be able to explain it in two. And uh, that could be convoluted. Uh, I think packer. So it could be someone that works at a shop and um, might deal with customer orders before they get shipped away. Uh, plunder. So the pirates of old would go through and sail the high seas looking to plunder other ships. Comforting. I might be sick and then if someone ends up cooking me some chicken soup or one of my favorite meals, I'd find that comforting. I feel a bit better. Uh, let's see if pole. Yep, okay, pole is one of the words, so it could be a lamppost or a flagpole. A tall, thin um, item that comes out of the ground. A uh, rabbit, an uh, animal with fluffy ears, but can sometimes be a pest and get into crop and they reproduce very quickly. And charm, so right now I'll just do a quick run around and see what I'm missing. So there's mark, relay, knife, oiled, misled, base or bass, loosen, fur, Eyeliner, and that's it. There's fur. No, foiled. Thought it was just about to be foiled, so someone might say their plans were foiled, but in this case it's oiled. So you want oil on something to help lubricate it and um, stop it from overheating. You might, um, say, oil a pan before um, cooking some meat into it. Uh, loosen. Uh, if you know you're going out for a big dinner, you might loosen your belt. Uh, misled. I might uh, feel like I was misled if I purchase an item thinking it's got all the accessories there and then I get it home and find out Nope, they're extra. If the salesperson gave me the impression that that's all I needed, you know, they might do that just so they can get the sale and earn their commission. A uh, knife, an item of cutlery, knife, fork, and spoon. Oh, yep, yeah, there's relay. Looking around to try and find Mark. No, no luck really there. I don't think that's 
no, the last one, sorry, I'm still missing eyeliner. I'll have a quick look for that, and if I can't find it, I'll jump into the next one. There's Mark. And eyeliner. So I'm pretty sure that's everything. That's everything, so I'll move up to the next one. So a toss up. Um, you might comment about a particular match and there might be two teams and you could say it's a toss up between who will win. You, you don't really know. There's not going to be one clear winner. Um, they're pretty matched. You can't really pick a difference. Self-service. You might have self-service um, in a supermarket where you scan your own items as you come out. Uh, walking. Walking stick. Someone might um, need a bit of extra support while moving along. Headstone. If you're in a cemetery, there's a headstone at the end of a grave. It usually says who's buried there and um, what years they've lived from and to. Foreclose. You could have a bank foreclose on a property if there's a mortgage over it, if the person hasn't been making the repayments. Uh, stratosphere is a bit of item very high up into the atmosphere. Process? No. Processional? Um, okay, I'm not too sure about that one. Uh, bullets? So it can be the bit that's shot out, but it can also refer to the bullet with its casing and um, the powder for, before it's been fired as well. To replicate something, you want to be able to repeat it. So a um, friend might give me a recipe that to swear black and blue that it works, and I might try it and uh, not be able to replicate it. Aesthetic is to do with the visual appeal. It looks good, whereas something might be functional um, and do the job quite well. People might prefer something aesthetic that looks okay. Uh, wolves are like wild dog animals. You usually might see them in snow and the wildlife. A bartender is a, a job where someone would typically serve alcoholic drinks and cocktails. Uh, service charge might be added to a bill. A forecast is a prediction from something that's going to happen, commonly a weather forecast. Uh, concentrate, so people might have trouble concentrating for an exam if uh, there's like loud traffic noises going through, if it wasn't a quiet environment. A rummage, you might look through, you might, someone might rummage through the bag looking for an item and when they take things out they place sort of everywhere. A decade is a period of time of 10 years. Uh, spites, no. Balding, someone who is losing the ability to grow hair on their head is described as balding. They usually stop growing hair in the center and then it might work out and um, affect all of their head. 
uh, matriarch is a female leader of a group, usually they say a family. Uh, worse than things, um, am I going to get, you know, taking, if they're heading towards worse, so it might be in an area that's flooded and the flood water keeps rising. So things are worsening before they're going to get better. Uh, concise. No, concisely. It's uh, very short and succinctly. It gets the message across without undue uh, extra words. Uh, publication. So it might be a, a book or a newspaper. A curtsy is a method of greeting similar to a bow. Usually, well, curtsies um, uh, done by women or girls, and it's seen as a sort of a dip. Uh, wintry, so you might say it's a very wintry day if it was very cold. Might be looking to snow or sleet. Uh, siphon. You can use a siphon to get fluid from one uh, vessel to another. You could siphon petrol out of a gas tank, though most cars won't uh, will have a method to stop that. But uh, if you insert a hose there, and then um, usually people will suck on the hose to get the fluid initially flowing, but once it starts flowing, it'll keep going. Uh, mimic, no, mimicry is um, acting like somebody else. Uh, still, so where things aren't moving. And crown, no. Crow. Yeah, crow is a type of animal similar to a magpie. So far, I'm missing lifeboat and compound, experience, asylum, accident, tyrant, besiege, specious, I'm a specious. Clairvoyant, soloist, warmth, bond, reply, vapor, spearhead, sun up, cufflink, double, barley, chime, and blemish. So, I don't know, I just can't quite see them at the moment. And there's yep, clairvoyant, so someone who should be able to see or say they can see the future. Might, like, look into a crystal ball. Uh, specious. Uh, bond. Someone might take a bond if they lease the house out. As a, to make sure that it doesn't get damaged. And then asylum. Where... Insane people um, are placed. Compound. You could say compound is a building. You might also say you, can, you could compound the issue by making it larger. Yeah. There's sun up. There's a referring to time. Yeah, you know, what time will we leave? Oh, just after sun up. There's cufflink, so an item of clothing. Or it's more an accessory to clothing. Uh, 
chime. You could have some chimes out the front of the house um, blowing in the wind. Sorry, just going to take a look at something else for a moment. I'll be back soon. Okay. Uh, vapor. You, uh, it's a, a gas, things that turn into a gas. So you could say the fuel vaporizes if it gets left on concrete. Or there could also be uh, vaping is a, a common term of smoking an e-cigarette. Uh, barley. Similar to grain and accident. So something bad has happened, but it didn't happen on purpose. Uh, it's an accident. Warmth. So on a cold day, going back to the warmth of the hut was a look, something to look forward to. A soloist. Someone might play a musician or musical instrument, but prefer to play by themselves rather than part of a band or a uh, orchestra. Uh, blemish. So I might crash a truck and that could be a blemish on my work record. It's not something that's going to look good. Uh, besiege. So there might be a castle and an army has advanced to it. They can't get into the castle, but um, they can surround the castle and then start digging their own fortifications. And that way it could starve the people inside out. Or they could then work on uh, making uh, towers and um, catapults and trebuchets to attempt to, act, uh, attempt to uh, fight their way inside. Uh, spite. No, it looks like spite's not. And lifeboat. So ships um, would have lifeboats in case they start sinking, with the way you could still save the people on board. I'm not sure I'm going to find it, but a tyrant is someone who is a leader of a government or, well, yeah, they're, they're uh, not very friendly to their own people to the point where uh, letting, say, them starve or um, yeah, they're very bad leader. So has is missing an experience. Reply and double. Okay. There's double and experience. I'm not sure I'm going to find has easily, so I think I'll just... um. Missed, sorry, if you has, reply, and spearhead. So someone spearheading a project is um, leading it from the front. So moving on to the next one. Someone might be on probation. So they might have gotten into trouble with the law. And um, the letter on probation 
they uh, yeah they, they might um, get a shorter sentence but if they commit a crime again then they're in even more trouble and certainty Sorry, I might have gotten that confused and probation might be someone who was in jail and got out early. I'm not exactly sure at the moment. Uh, picnic? Well, I'll look it up. Yeah, so instead of going to jail, someone might have a period of probation. And if they don't commit any other crimes, then um, they can not avoid jail. Uh, bumblebee, type of animal. FBI, so it's an American Federal Bureau of Investigation, federal police um, organization, a consortium. There might be several different companies that work in an area but you might have a consortium a group of several of them and um, the government might go and ask them before introducing some reforms or there might be a body to um uh, or the, yeah that represents a group of companies so, uh, pencil sharpener if you use it it'll uh, the lead will get written out and then get blunt so you might want to sharpen it to get some nice um thin edges they'll which is short for they will or they shall a fudge um, a type of food but you can also say someone might fudge the numbers uh, diesel type of fuel it's uh, similar to petrol well in that it's liquid it's uh, refined from oil but it's it's more energy dense and it's harder to set a light. Um, and yeah, it's got different properties. It used to be a byproduct and was cheaper than petrol, but now it's pretty much the same. And trucks and some some cars prefer it. Low low cal, which I'm pretty sure is short for low calorie. It might be a low cal milk. Um, so it might have some fat removed from it. Uh, settler, described as someone who, and you might say like 19, 1800s America or earlier, where they've gone out to live into the wilderness away from the cities to make a life for themselves. Uh, discontinue. So you stop producing an item and then the crude, you could have crude oil or you might have Someone making a joke that's called crude if it's a bit offensive. Incorporated, you'd have an organization or company that's incorporated. Uh, deforestation could be, well, deforestation is where um, trees are chopped down, maybe for farmland or um, for the lumber. Uh, storekeeper is a job of someone that opens the shop. They'll Buy things from wholesalers, add a bit more to a markup to each item, and then sell them to the public. Uh, discriminate, you know, indiscriminate, where usually I think it's used with weapons, where it's not um, it's used against sort of anyone in the area. So if you had a rifle, you might be able to discriminate who you're shooting at, but if you had a big bomb, it could. Um, would be indiscriminate on who it affects. If you're particularly, if say, the like World War Two, or the V1 and V2 bombs on London, they were just um, could hit anyone without compared to um, attacking, say, an airfield. Uh, forgotten. I might have forgotten what I had for lunch yesterday. I just can't remember it. Uh, worthless. There was a period of hyperinflation where the currency kept going up, so when the currency ended up becoming worthless. Uh, consideration. You might not think about a particular aspect for reaching a decision. Uh, 
uh, operationally. It might be some items might be operationally required, so you might get a priority when placing an order in the um, requisitioning system. Pound. Uh, it's a UK currency, but pound can also mean to hit something very hard. Um, you might go out and pound a crate to open it up if you weren't able to open it up normally. Uh, capitulate is um, giving up. Enlighten. Um, usually means showing someone, someone something new. You might enlighten them into a, a newer technique of how to do it, how to do something. Uh, stopper. You might put a stopper onto a glass bottle. Stop it spilling. You might praise some gems to figure out how much they're worth. Uh, someone who's been mining might take them into the city. A legend is a story or someone might have received uh, legend status and the person is very famous. Uh, robust is a way to describe something that'll work, usually like agricultural instruments. They, they won't break terribly easily. Comprehend. Uh, picker. meal, so I have three meals a day, uh, deck, so there might be several decks on a ship, surveillance to look at something and to see what's happening with it, a multitude, uh, meaning many, Plugged. No, unplugged. Um, someone might have unplugged the television while they're watching in a key part of the game and it might upset some people. Uh, contraction is a shorter way of saying some things or writing them. Logical is a way that sort of makes sense. Uh, crooked, you could say that there might be some crooked cops that are uh, not um, able to accept some bribes, but you could also say that there might be some tiles when you're laying them out, they're normally meant to go horizontally and vertically, and there might be a few that are crooked that might upset the you know, laying of future ones. Star. A songwriter <coughs> is a job, they're not the singer, but they make sure that the lyrics are nice and that the um, tunes are good. Expect, I might place a big order and um, I might say, yeah, if um, we may not be able to do it, but if we don't give you a call by tomorrow, then expect to be able, they'll be able to fill it all out. So I'll be able to get everything rather than make second plans. So far I'm missing Remain, Lash, Nash, Vendetta, uh, Notary Public, Snide, Info, and that's it. So Info, short for Information.
uh, notary public. Um, not too sure what that means. There's snide. It's usually where someone might make a snide remark about somebody else. Uh, gnash. Usually he say gnashing of teeth. Uh, lash as in eyelashes. I think pay was mentioned as well. No. Uh, but fizz. If you have some soft drink, you might uh, open it up and close it, leave it in the fridge for a while, but then find out it's lost all its fizz. Um, looking for remain and vendetta. There's Vendetta. Um, someone might feel particularly wronged and carry a grudge. If you've got a Vendetta, you're um, going out of your way to uh, get square or bring harm to the, the person. Yeah, the story might be a, a cop who's um, a crime lord just killed their partner and they might go on a Vendetta to bring them to justice. And remain is the last one. There we go, hidden just in there. Um, I think I'll bring it into a close this evening. I gave thought about it before starting of doing these in a more logical fashion and uh, doing it. So I think I'll spend some more time on that and trying to make the presentation a bit more interesting. If you've got any questions, comments, or feedback, please let me know. And hopefully I can be back to full speed soon. Thank you.